Hello everybody, Matt here from Virtual Web. Thanks for joining me today. It's actually a Sunday morning in sunny Queensland. Uh, that's uh, Brisbane, Australia. Although it is a very sunny day today, it's got down to like 10 degrees, so it's pretty cold in our part of the world. It's middle of winter. Just randomly decided to do this video this morning. I just want to talk about Divi and Thrive themes. I quickly realized, well not so quickly, it took me a couple of months, realized that you could uh, use Thrive themes with Divi and it was just like wow light bulb moment just opened my eyes to uh, endless possibilities. I did write a blog post recently about um, Ultimate Showdown between Divi and Thrive themes and the, basically the message out of it is you don't have to pick and choose you can actually use both. I noticed some people are really surprised when I say that I use Divi as my base theme with Thrive themes over the top. So whilst I was in here, I just thought I'd randomly record this video and give you an example. So my um, primary business, Espresso Design Studios, before we even knew about Thrive themes, we built this as well as all of our client site, sites on, uh, on Divi. And if you're don't, not familiar with Divi, Divi belongs to a, a business called Elegant Themes. They have two core themes, uh, a lot of outdated uh, themes uh, you, they, they mention 87 themes up here I haven't touched the uh, other 85 but they're two um, sort of flagship themes are uh, Divi and extra now if it's only recently I've really got into extra which is a very powerful blogging theme Divi you probably know Divi it or at least heard of it it is uh, probably the most robust flexible theme that I have ever used and fantastic from uh, even though it's not perfect responsively it's, uh, it's one of the better themes to uh, address responsiveness and design. So on my own site, you'll see on the screen at the moment, Espresso Design Studios, that's my bread and butter uh, core business. Um, it's built in Divi, and if I was to build it today, I would still, because I did this before I knew Thrive Themes, if I build it today, I'd still use Divi, just this type of structure and uh, the way that CSS is implemented, I find Divi more ideal. I know that when the Thrive Content Builder number two comes out, I think that's going to be a real game changer for, for Thrive themes. And as far as responsive design goes, which is another uh, tutorial, uh, another article I've written and, and a video I've done to explain responsive versus adaptive, but Divi is still the winner there. But as I said, I think that's going to change with the Thrive Content Builder. So uh, just going through, uh, and the reason why I use Divi is just all of this is just pretty much out of the box stuff. I do have some custom CSS, the diagonal line. Uh, there's a little bit with the parallax effect there with the, uh, the coffee machine in the background. Um, diagonal lines again, I've got the, um, the, the blurbs, the dynamic blurbs there that's got customized CSS. And then right at the bottom, we have our one of our Thrive Themes uh, features, which is, in this case, it's the ultimatum. So we'll come back to that in a minute and I'll demonstrate. But just so you can see what's going on in the back end, and I hope I've got the back end open. There we go. We're going to go to our Appearance Themes. And you'll see that um, I've got the Divi as the parent theme, and I or religiously, every time, use a child theme. Even if I don't think I might uh, be customizing the functions uh, file or, or customize CSS I um, in, in the style CSS sheet I um, will still always do a child theme it's just habit and it just saves me any dramas down the track um, I do have plenty of free thrive um, themes child themes if you if you go to thriver.virtualweb.com.au uh, I have one for each of the ten thrive themes I also um, have one for I've got my own for Divi which I'm happy to share. I, I will publish that at some time and make it available. But if you if you do a search for Divi Child Themes, plenty of people doing it already. Not so much with Thrive Themes, so that's why I, off, I offer that on thriver.virtualweb.com.au. Okay, so um, on top of that, and this was the greatest discovery in my WordPress life, was uh, realizing, and it's probably obvious to some people, but um, yeah, sometimes I just don't have those light bulb moments it was probably a Sunday and I probably only had half a cup of coffee like I have this morning so a little bit slow at times but anyway there's uh, one two three four five six Thrive themes uh, plugins they all need an update I've been a bit um, been a bit slack there I'll, I'll do that after uh, this video um, not overly responsible from me because I'm not actually using all six at the moment 
I'm, uh, I'm not using Ovation on the site at the moment. So look, being uh, particular, uh, I don't believe in having any plugins on there if you're not using them. Uh, not only should they be deactivated, they should be removed completely. Okay, otherwise you, it's just, if you, if you leave them deactivated, it's just another s point of entry potentially, depending on how secure your site is, um, if the theme were to be updated and all that, or there, there was patches required or holes in the code that our hackers could exploit. So anyway, that's for another, another tutorial and an, another video. So anyway, Thrive Themes on top of, um, of Divi, you'll notice that with the, uh, you'll still get the um, uh, Thrive icon in the dashboard menu, but uh, the one thing that is missing is uh, Thrive Options. And, th and that's just because Thrive Options is associated directly with the parent Thrive Themes theme. So it's a bit of a mouthful, that Thrive Themes themes. Anyway, um, yeah, so you, you get you see everything else. You've got your general settings, which is primarily your hookups with Facebook and I think it's Discus, your commentary. Um, uh, and naturally your license manager and then the dashboard, which is the overview. That's what you saw when we came into the site. Um, overview of all the elements that you have uploaded or the plugins that you've uploaded. I showed you my site, all in Divi, bit of customization, but down the bottom, now originally I had up the top a ribbon, sorry, so right up the top a, a ribbon, but we're just changing one of our marketing strategies at the moment. So you'll see that again soon. But uh, for now, we've just got at the bottom a um, Thrive Ultimatum. So it's basically an evergreen countdown. So we try to use a number of conversion tools on our site because we, uh, for many reasons, but this one in particular is because we, we know that a lot of our clients already have websites. So most of our business comes from clients that already have a site but need a redesign or really need to give it a real conversion uh, focus um, as you know the the web is saturated with websites that literally just sit there and do nothing for whatever reason poor design or just not conversion focused design um, outdated whatever reason they need a bit of an uplift or a complete makeover altogether or a complete re redesign from the ground up and yeah we recognize that so that's why we use this conversion tool here which is a evergreen ultimatum now demonstrated. So basically we're just pointing out to people uh, uh, part of the market that's basically identifying that, yeah, they have a website. We know it's not getting us any leads. It's basically a digital business card. Espresso design, can you help us out? Click here and we, we have our normal sort of uh, um, value line or to entice our customers to click uh, yes potential customers do you want to double your website leads in the next seven days yes let's do it and then they're uh, presented with this which is basically our offer for a free website health check which is effectively an email that we send with, with a less list of five things that we actually personally do ourselves we actually review the site the home page of the site and identify five really quick fixes that the um, uh, client or well, potential client can implement. So it's our way to break the uh, break the ice basically and have those conversations. And whether they use it or not, look, we don't get too hung up. We, we're good people trying to help help people. Uh, anybody who knows me in the forums knows that I'm, I go out of my way to help people and I, I don't expect anything back. But uh, you know, uh, 10, 20% of these ultimately lead to us designing a website. So, um, you know, it's not a bad conversion tool if you are a designer and you're thinking of uh, something along these lines. So the evergreen counter, guys, is this, uh, you'll see this three-day three countdown. So it just basically identifies the IP address on your computer and uh, it starts the clock from when this is first opened. Obviously, if they went to another uh, computer, did the same thing, it would start the clock again at three days. But it wouldn't matter if somebody else... Um, opens it, uh, sees this website for the first time in two weeks' time. The countdown always starts from the first time that they basically open this. If I was to close this down now and come back tomorrow, same time, same place, it would say one hour, uh, sorry, one day, 23 hours, and so on. Our clients fill out the form, give us their web address, click the send my uh, personalized report, and there's probably a thank you and uh, an automated email, all the rest of it. 
and we get back to them within a couple of days with our five pointers. And that there is all Thrive themes overlaid on top of um, on top of Divi. So absolute win-win situation. So look, I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope that's been some help and given you some insight. Um, I do have, uh, if you want more information, look up my uh, tutorial or my review on Divi and Thrive themes, the ultimate showdown. And I will uh, talk to you next time. Thank you.